It is currently 11.34 p.m. on a Wednesday night, and I was reading Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams, but Bloom Books just sent me Girl Abroad by Elle Kennedy. I like the premise of this. This is a love triangle. She's in London, so I thought this was going to be interesting, but I didn't necessarily want to pick it up right away, but then they sent character art i was immediately sold i'll insert a picture here but i immediately had to pick it up so here i am starting a new book tonight okay so i'm gonna start the book now and all i know is that the main character is studying abroad in london and it's a pretty long book it's like 419 pages oh my gosh i just finished chapter one and I think this set up the entire book to be potentially so, so good. This is not a spoiler because it's in the blurb, but I did not read the blurb, so I did not know this. She just found out the flat she's staying with. All her roommates are guys. This is giving XO Kitty. So it's now Thursday and it's currently 7.58 p.m. I worked from home today, so I'm in a very like cozy outfit and I'm gonna dive into my book. I am on chapter three. I really wanna see how it unfolds with her living with three guys. They just issued a no dating rule. This is literally not gonna end well. Okay, so the book is sectioned off into months. I'm now on chapter seven and it says that it's September now. I'm not sure if there's like a jump in timeline or not yet but she was just at the club with her roommates and some of their friends and she met this guy she had a crush on but found out that he has a girlfriend okay it's saturday now and i'm like 94 pages into girl abroad and it's so good right now so there's definitely a lot of tension between abby and jack and i feel like they're gonna hook up and it's gonna be like slow burn but again i know it's like love triangle so i'm like who else is it gonna be and then they added this other aspect into it that i didn't think i was gonna be as into it as i am basically she has like a school project and she finds this painting and there's a girl in it and she has no idea who she is and she's trying to like uncover like the story behind it all and she has to go into like the restricted vault to read a certain book and find out information and i think it's so good i'm just waiting for her and jack to hook up okay i got to chapter 14 so we're now in the october section and i definitely think the love triangle is between jack and nate so her and jack every time they're around each other they have this like insane tension and angst and it literally drives me crazy and then with nate like i feel like she is attracted to him there they started to get to know each other he took her to this museum where she's trying to figure more about the painting she's like finding more and more about this family and this painting and who the heck this girl is in this painting this is so cute this is like playing like a movie in my head but it's really good so far and i'm really enjoying it okay so i'm on chapter 15 now i'm about 121 pages in this book is so good it's definitely a love triangle between her and her roommate and this bass player i like that aspect that was added into it so i like the aspect of like a rock star romance basically and the painting aspect reminds me of the longest ride i love that movie so much so very excited to see what happens next my gosh you can like feel the tension and like angst just like flying off the pages Jack and Abby just had a moment. Okay, actually, this is reminding me more of the Inheritance Games and, like, that whole mystery aspect of it. This is so good. I feel like they're going on, like, a treasure hunt because Abby just found another clue for the painting. And they kind of found it by accident. And guess who was there by her side? Jack. Yup. I'm Team Jack. Not her having a moment with Nate. The thing about this love triangle is that I feel like from both sides it's so slow burn. Like I feel like with most love triangles it's like, oh, I love him, but I also love him. But in this one, it's like she doesn't really know either of them and she's just attracted to them, but she like spends a little bit more time with them and there's flirting, but not necessarily like a love connection. So I'm like, what's gonna happen? Oh my gosh, now there's a third guy in the mix and this is so messy. Oh. Not the you up text. Ick. I'm not rooting for him. One guy tries to kiss her, one guy tries to hook up with her, but like doesn't confess his feelings, and another is asking her to go on a day trip. What is this? Uh, no! Oh my god, bro. I don't want her with this guy. I'm so upset. 
I left my boyfriend's house and I'm home now. So I'm going to continue reading my book. I was so mad last night because she had a moment with someone who I wasn't rooting for like i don't want her to be with this guy i want her to be with someone else so i'm gonna continue reading while i'm eating my favorite chips ever these are shrimp barbecue chips and i love them so much so i'm like almost 300 pages into this i'm not having the best time reading this this is partly because like she's just hanging out with and doing stuff with the guy that i don't want her to be with so i'm just not enjoying reading this right now oh my gosh the guy that i've been rooting for finally confesses his feelings but i'm like you're too late because she's been with the other dude Ugh. i'm speechless what oh my gosh now she's still talking to the other guy this is so messy and i just feel like people's feelings are going to get hurt this book is literally driving me insane because she keeps juggling between the two guys like she'll kiss this one then she'll run off on a date with the other one and I'm like can you make up your mind please thank you and she's not exclusive with any of them so like it does it's not like she's cheating on them because I don't think she is but to me it's just like she doesn't know what she wants I can see why you can't tell because you're constantly just like jumping back and forth and like I don't know I think she just needs to pick someone before it gets a little too complicated. So we have now hit the month of January. I'm on page 309 now. This is so messy. The girlfriend found out that Abby like hooked up with her ex-boyfriend. The roommates found out that Abby was hooking up with one of the roommates. Everything is just exploding all at once. Oh my gosh, her dad just showed up to the flat. He's gonna find out she was lying about her roommates because she told her dad she was living with all girls. But they're actually all guys. Oh no! Oh my gosh, there's a plot twist. So the dad came. He met everyone. Likes the roommates. You know, things are good. Then she finds out something that they've been keeping from her. What else can possibly happen? Mm, I don't know. I think, I think Abby's being just a little bit dramatic. I get there was something that was cut from her, but it wasn't really that big of a deal in my opinion. I don't know. And we made it to February. I'm now on page 375. And we hit the third act breakup, but not with just one guy. With two guys. This guy just confessed he's in love with her. And that he wants her to go meet his mom. And if she doesn't take him on this offer, I'm going to lose my freaking mind. Okay, I just found out what happened with the history of the painting and Josephine and the Tullys. And I think it was a very satisfying ending. I feel like it was a very typical storyline, but I very much enjoyed it. Just finished the book. And originally, I was going to give it like 3.5 out of 5 stars. But the last like 2-3 chapters completely changed it for me four out of five stars for me this was a solid read this was fun i'm very happy with who she ended up with okay it's been a few days since i finished girl abroad by l kennedy so i kind of just wanted to wrap up all of my final thoughts so i gave this a four out of five stars we follow abby and she is going to study abroad in london her dad is a famous musician and he's very overprotective of her so she goes to london and finds out that her flatmates are actually all guys and that wasn't something Something that was clear in the beginning so she's juggling that she's juggling school and the mystery with this painting to where she has to write about for one of her projects also meeting new friends and meeting bass player who she ends up having a crush on and then juggling all these romantic interests so I think one thing that I ended up really liking about this book was that it played like a movie in my head. I just felt like this was so much fun. I loved the studying abroad aspect, the love triangle, the roommates, the friends, the paintings, the history, the mystery. I thought all of that was so much fun. I think if I had to compare these to movies, to me it's like a mix of like Exo Kitty and Sydney White combined with The Longest Ride. A little bit of like house of anubis kind of not in a way where it's like creepy or scary or anything but like just like trying to connect painting with a letter and the picture and i feel like that's kind of what happened in house of anubis i feel like that's like the perfect way to kind of describe this when i say house of anubis i mean like a sprinkle the way it reminds me of the longest ride is the painting and like the history of it i just felt like this played like a really fun movie in my head and on top of that i loved like pretty much most of the characters like 
I really loved their friend group. Abby meets this like grumpy librarian and they begin to, you know, develop a friendship there. My only complaint was is I feel like when you get to a certain point, certain things just kind of feel like fluff. Like, I don't know if it was really necessary and I felt like I was like kind of skimming through some things because I do think this book is a little long. Like, I feel like some parts definitely could have been cut out and that's why I was kind of giving it like three stars at first, but it bumped up to four when she ended up with the guy that I wanted. So I was happy. Overall, I thought this was a solid read. If you want something fun and exciting with a lot of drama, and a little bit of mystery, then I definitely recommend you read this. That is it for today's YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reading vlog on Girl Abroad by Elle Kennedy. If you read it, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for any more bookish content, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.